Heart disease is a really serious problem here in the United States, especially for women. It is the number one killer. The really good news is, is that we have a lot of control over that because heart disease can be preventable. It's really important to know your numbers, and when I say know your numbers, that means knowing a couple key numbers, like your blood pressure, your cholesterol, your body mass index, also your fasting blood glucose. And the reason that all of those are important is that you know your risk for the development of heart disease, and once you know those numbers, you can do things to start preventing disease. Knowing your blood pressure is really important because having high blood pressure is a setup for a lot of diseases like heart attacks and strokes and heart failure. It's important to check your blood pressure regularly. You can get that done when you go to see your doctor, also when you're at the grocery store, if you're walking by the fire department, any of those places can check your blood pressure. I think it's just really important that you check it on a regular basis. A number less than 140 over 90 is a good target. The good news is that oftentimes blood pressure can be controlled by things like diet and exercise. Now this isn't the case for everyone. A lot of times we, patients do have to go on medications and they're great medications that can work for you, but the cornerstone of everything that we do is always diet and exercise. There are three numbers that are tied together. Those are your body mass index, your waist size, and your weight. Body mass index is a number that we calculate based on your height and your weight. And one out of every three Americans is obese. We know that if your waist size is high or your weight is high, you are at increased risk for diseases like diabetes, heart disease, and stroke. Some of the most important things we can do are to work out regularly, get enough sleep, make sure you're eating a healthy diet, and reduce our stress as much as possible. Having high cholesterol is a major risk factor for the development of cardiovascular disease. And having high cholesterol is not something that you feel, so you really need to get it checked. That's really important. When you get your cholesterol, there's gonna be four numbers that you see. The first is your total cholesterol. That number should be less than 200. The second is your HDL. That number you want to be as high as possible, above 50. The third number that you're gonna see is your LDL. That number you want to get as low as possible. Something like less than 100 would be great. The last set of numbers that you need to know are your fasting blood sugar. A fasting blood sugar is usually checked after you haven't eaten anything for about eight hours, and that number should be less than 100 to be normal. The good news about having high cholesterol is that if you do need medications, we have great medications that are available and that are really, really good at treating cholesterol and reducing your risk for heart attacks and strokes. The bottom line is that even though heart disease is the number one killer of women in the United States, it doesn't have to be. We have a lot of control over preventing these types of diseases and the first step is to know your numbers.